Alright guys, what's going on? I really hope the voice issue has been fixed in this video. Anyway guys, um, today we're going to start our coding of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to very simply make this page in HTML and CSS. And we're going to see if we can do like this little drop down thing. We might be able to even make that work in CSS alone. We'll try it, we'll see what happens. Um, now this is an experiment for me as well because I've, you know, haven't built this page before or anything like it so I'm actually trying to learn how to do this myself anyway so we're gonna try and make this work we're gonna need a new piece of software or well, technically we don't need a new piece of software we've been using notepad plus plus for a while now but for the last three videos but that was to teach you the syntax and all that now there's a piece of software out there that's almost like an IDE for HTML but it's very good and it's free and um, we could use an IDE like NetBeans but I don't like using IDEs for markup. I much prefer um, just a little tool that helps with it. Anyway, we're gonna get the tool now. It's called Komodo Edit. Komodo Edit 8. Uh, I looked at my search before. And you just go in here. And this does things like Perl and Python and PHP and everything. It's a nice little tool. Komodo Edit, download now. Don't get the IDE trial, just get Komodo Edit 8. Uh, download and install that. And once you've done all that, this is what it looks like. So this is all the stuff that I have worked on. So we're going to create a new file, new file. And actually we're going to exit out. We're going to create file, new, and we're going to HTML5. And it sets up a little, uh, sets it all up for you. And we're just going to save as Android developers page. I'm going to delete that and change this to lowercase because I like doing that. So we've got that set up. So it literally gives us our HTML, our head, our title, our body element, and all that sorted. So I suppose the first thing we'll do is looking at our reference page. You want to change our header to Android developers. So we'll do that first. Now I've actually made this uh, the font size huge so you guys can see it. Hopefully on normal screen, actually I might make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now you should be able to see that fairly clearly. I've also bolded it, so when I compress this for YouTube, it should look still quite good. Let's get rid of that start page. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this page. And I'm going to open up Photoshop now, and I'm just going to show you guys how we're going to break this page down. Okay, guys, so we're in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop simply because it's a nice way of being able to show you how this will work. So the page seems to be made up of a couple of areas. So if we highlight this area here, this appears to be the page content box. So we're gonna to need to define that. Now I've never actually given you an element for just defining content. So we'll split it up. So this is our content area and it's centered in the entire page and it's width appears to be fixed to a certain width. So it's fixed to whatever width this is. We'll find that out in a minute. Inside it, there seems to be a kind of a header, a body box, a menu kind of type thing. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll define that like a footer and then a notice. So there, that's what we'll do today. We'll define our structure of our web page. So inside our body tag, where we're going to do all the actual setup. We're going to tab it, tab in. So we need some kind of element um, or some kind of tag that is just a generic tag. We need a, just a plain old generic tag to say box to hold stuff in. We don't want text, we don't want anything fancy. We can't use paragraphs or headers or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a div. Div, that's our div element. So in case you're wondering, uh, div just means a division. I think it stands for division. It literally just is a box, a blank generic element that acts as a block on a page. And we're gonna give this a class. That's rather amusing Komodo editor, putting class in small font. So the class will be a page wrapper. Okay, that's for uh, tagging stuff onto it, okay? So we've got our page wrapper element set up. 
Now we're going to define inside this. So remember that I told you the HTML elements flow down the page one after another inside of element. So what we want to do is we want to get this element. We want to create the wrapper for this, the body, the footer, and the notice. So we're going to create four divs inside this. And this is going to be class equal to header. Okay, so that's one div set up. And I'm just going to copy paste this div because I'm lazy. Okay, I'm going to set up the body, the footer. Actually, we'll set the footer down to be the bottom. And we'll set this to links. Okay, so now we've defined a set of these all ready to go. So if we open up this page, if I just go to Bugger, I just need to navigate to it. So I'm going to here, tutorials. Okay, so we haven't got anything actually in the page, but if we look at the structure of the page under elements, look, we've got our page wrapper, our header, our body, our links, and our div all stacked ready to go. So that's nice. So how do we actually get these to work, essentially? We need to try and find some way of making these set up correctly. So if we go back to the uh, Android page we're trying to replicate, we want this to flow in the center, okay? Now that will be done in the margins video when we start talking about margins. In fact, we'll do it now. In fact, we'll do it live. I hit my desk with my hand somehow. So if we bring up the elements for this page, okay? You've got, the, the elements for this is very complicated because it's got lots of stuff. This is all divs, 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 ul, we'll go through all that. So we're gonna write up something quite like this, all the meta tags, wow. So, first of all, we need to define our body, or not our body. Uh, we need to define the width of our element, okay? So how wide is it? That's my phone going dong. So if we look at the header element here, and the header element is fully width. Okay, so what they did was they uh, margined it and put inner. So we want this to be 940 pixels wide. I know I'm going with this around about way. So first thing we need to do is we need to go 940 pixels wide for the page wrapper. So we need a new file. File, new, and we're gonna make a CSS file. So I'm gonna save this as main.css okay and then we're gonna have to link that did name correctly yep tax aid authority now we're going to have to um link our css sheet to our thing so remember it's link rel equals style sheet Style sheet um, href equals main .css. I believe that's everything we need. Can't save that there now. Okay. Fairly sure that's everything we need. Let's double check. Ah, we never put in a type. Whoops. I have so many windows open, I always get confused with windows. Yep, that's everything. So now that we've got that set up, our link ready, we're going to create our page wrapper. This will also tell us if we've got errors in our CSS, which is nice. And uh, we've got our dot 
header guard dot body uh, can we call it body Just body now we can't call it body but we can but it might it won't get confused with this tag actually we'll change it to content because content is nice content uh, do, do, do. and then we need our dot links and our dot SOTO. we could use id but we might need you know just things to apply anyway got that ready to go so we've got our css and our major html setup so in order to get the thing to float in the middle a certain width we need to set its width width and we're going to set it to 940 px okay so now if we reload this in our dot in our thing and bring it up here and we go to page wrapper android has been acting a maggot lately i mean the cache is hmm small letter didn't uh, format the one correctly yeah so the width 940 px so the width there look it's 940 px you can see it times zero now the reason it's times zero because there's no content in it therefore it just folds up into zero so that's okay we've got our width ready so we set our width and then we're going to just put random content into header just to mark where they are content god mother link 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 and then footer like that save now see the way they all appear so the page wrapper goes there but as you can see remember the blue area is the content box and the red area or the orange area is the margins around the box remember as i said all elements are boxes when there are block level elements you can put elements in line they're called um, inline elements but these are block level elements divs are and as you can see it's just a block in with no way so it's off to the left we want to try and center that so in order to center it we need to set the margins to top and bottom to be zero for the page wrapper naturally enough there'll be no margins and then what we need to do is so, so the top and bottom margins will be zero and then we need to set the side margins to width but what happens if somebody's on a bigger monitor or a lower resolution the margins are going to get mucked up well there's a way of doing it we say margin zero now how this works is margins are a little bit peculiar i'm going to explain these mu in much much more detail in the next video but if you type in margin zero auto zero auto now margins work right in this way you can say margin you can also say margin top margin bottom margin left margin right but if you type in margin like this and type zero that's the margin at top right hand side bottom left hand side so it goes around the circle so what it will do is it will apply the top margin first the bot the right hand margin around like that in a space in between them now i could just easily say say if i wanted margin dash top and just define it as zero and then go margin left margin right margin bottom we're not going to do that we're going to use this method margin now thing is here okay it's going margin zero that like that and uh, that should put him in there what also means is also means it'll center like that it'll just center in the middle it'll automatically set up the margin so that on left and right so that it matches the browser knows so if we do that now look as you can see it's now centered perfectly in the center now there's another way to define this we could just say zero auto what this means is when you put in two numbers it means that top and bottom margin 
left and right margin. If we put in margin just auto on its own, and we change that, as you can see, it stays the same. Look, margin zero auto, it applies the margin, the auto margin to the left and the right, and the zero margin to the top and bottom. Done. So guys, we'll leave it off with that. In the next video, I'm going to go through in a lot more detail act, act, the, um, the actual creation of the page. But we're going to go into margin in a lot more detail, particularly with the inner header element. We'll work on that now in the next video. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed and we'll be back with the next video.